Welcome to the Fortress of Winds, our next main dungeon. This place is gargantuan. Well, not as well. Not, it's not that big of a deal, but it's still kind of big. Hmm. The fates of ruins were hidden within this cliff the whole time. Watch your step, Asner. There may be traps in here. Traps is, is an understatement. And there is a lot of stuff to collect. First off, we have to go to the left. There are multiple paths for you to take. Uh, your first and main foremost should to go left and right of that of the first room you saw. And we also introduction to Stafos, so basically an undead enemy. We have the blue variant, which uh, just jumps around and just makes your life miserable. We also have hunted skulls. I actually got that on the first try. <laughs> Not even trying there. And we come into this room here. We also get, oh, there's more stall stallfuls here. Or stall actually these are stall children. Are there stallfuls? I always kind of mix the two because some of them have swords and sometimes they don't. And it's uh, kind of confusing after a while. Uh, we want to be worried about sparks here because they they can shock you, but also there are rupee likes, so watch out for that. So if you see a rupee out of place, uh, just attack it and see what happens, and most likely it's going to be a rupee like in your way. But again, sparks are everywhere in this place. Not sure the correlation is between that and wind, but I digress. So we go here, we have none of the, the metal chews. They're here in four foremost. Uh, but as you can see there, there are switches hidden behind uh, rocks and whatnot, rocky walls. Uh, we're going to need to... Uh, uh, to find a way to break those down so we can actually get all the treasures in this place. So we go up in this room here and we have two Igor to take care of. So we need to charge up our two sword. And unfortunately you can't use, uh, the uh, opposing link cannot use items other than the sword. Oh, I don't want to use that, no. I, uh, breaking the immersion, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hit the A button, not the R trigger. <laughs> But you gotta fight two Igors. They're not too hard, just gotta keep your distance and just attack them. Come on, buddy. Eye to the face. <laughs> Arrow to the face. And by defeating them, we get the compass! You find these items, items, you know how this works. Compass, we find all the items on the map. But we need to find the map first to make that even more effective. Hit the eye there. Hit eye there. And open up the door. We got more ropes. Oh yeah. Take care of you ropes. Yeah, here. We have more two sword abilities we have to use. Charge up our sword. And we push this rock all the way across. And push this one back. And now we have to charge it again. And now we can charge it up. And now we can use it in our formation here. And push the rock the other direction. I kind of like the night detail. You can see like the ground being messed up by the uh, by the rock being pushed across it. It's kind of cool detail. Hey, what was that? Looks like a key. A key is ours. Hmm. Did you suddenly just fall down? Or was it just my imagination? Might be an imagination. <laughs> as well. You never know. <laughs> but lucky that it's ver that, that hole was there. We can drop down and get the key ourselves, baby. Alright, time to go after the other one. There are two keys we need to find, and they each are on the left and right side of the main door. Let's hit up this way. We have a couple switches. Stop those, or stop children, whatever one it is. Ow! And that's just an annoyance. Right there. Got a keystone piece for our trouble. Not bad at all. Over there, another keystone piece. A lot of keystone pieces are in this in this dungeon, so bear that in mind. I'm gonna wait for that thing to run by so I can grab this thing with no problem. Yeah. Open up the door for us. Open up to the outside area. Curse you, Mel Choo Choo's. Get out of here. We have Mordorm enemies that we haven't got access to yet, but we also have chests behind walk 
rock walls. Rock or dirty or dirt walls here, so we got can't do anything about them just yet. Ah. Hey, you. Wake up and get out of here. Sweet. We can now activate this uh, portal here. Now they do give you four of them here. It is because of, uh, well, it's not a ticket factor. The more elements we infuse our sword with, the more abilities we can, uh, more uh, copies we can have with the four sword. So, so if you come back here for any reason, you can activate the ability. It's a fail safe in its own right. All right, we need to activate this guy first. Turn you on. Let's go this way. Huzzah! We need to get rid of this Armos Knight or Armos Statue here so we can activate that switch so that key can drop down. Oh, I should have grabbed it. No! <laughs> it's dropping so fast. But we want to go back to being small again. Because if we fall down the hole, our cells are small. And there's a little bit of a hole right here we can go to. It's for a secret passage that allows us to get a piece of heart as well. I find it nice. It's kind of weird to see heart pieces inside of a dungeon. Because you know you get a heart container for being the boss. But, uh, you know, but finding heart pieces inside dungeons is just like, man, that's cool. Alright, let's go grab our key and then we can go to the middle area. Use it open locked doors, only use it in this dungeon. Sweet. That's two keys for us. Now let's head up to the main area. As the main area now has two doors for us to unlock and two keys for us to use it with. We have more of the Stalfos stalled children enemies. There we go, take care of you guys. We have our bows ready. He has an eye gores right there, ready for us to hit him in the eye with. Booyah! Also have traps as they are from the uh, the human the human mind. The cavern of flames. So now we have the other variants of them, which are just you know, just normal traps. Right, it's for to open up the first door to the left. You gotta wait for a platform to come across here. Still haven't met of these so-called wind people yet, because this is technically their their fortress, so I guess that they should be here. Oh, wall masters, come back to come back in full force. Also, with the floor masters and wall masters, do make their appearance. But they are weak, very weak to the bow and arrow. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> Will you come back here? Another dark nut. Now this one has a red tint to him. I think he's just more aggressive. I think. Yeah, he's just more aggressive. The dark nuts are just making their return here. They just don't want this to. They, I guess they are just basically, you know, protecting the the place they were guarding. I guess. Fire the grass. It's gone. And that's our blue portal for the dungeon. Ooh, almost got hit by the trap. Not too bad ourselves here. Grab it right there. Do 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 do. do. All right, now we're up here. They give us bombs for a very good reason. If you see these two skulls right here, put a bomb right between them. Oh, yeah. And we get... You got the moments! Dig, dig, dig to your heart's content. Another item for us to use, and this allows us to break down walls. Selective walls, I should stress. So this is actually going to be very useful to us. Now we can actually go through the entirety of the, of the last previous areas and actually grab all the stuff from previously. Because there's a lot of stuff we need that are hid behind there. So let's go find that stuff real quick. Because the other right side is the way to the boss key and we might as well grab everything we can here. If we go through this wall here, there's another oddly shaped door for us. So we break the wall down in here. You get a keystone piece for your trouble hidden behind the wall. But we go in here, we have a mini boss fight with Wizrobes, no less. 
Liz Rose and Energy Orbs. But that defeats him nonetheless, and we get Mysterious Shells for your trouble. Not worth it, in my opinion, as you can just, you know, grind shells outside the dungeon, but I guess it's a nice reward regardless. That's 80 shells you didn't have earlier. So, let's go. Don't need to worry about hitting these enemies here. We need to go get to back to the outside area. Back through here. Break through here. Nothing there. There's a chest there with a red keystone piece. Oh, we need all the red ones we can get. Also, the like likes make their re uh, reappear here, so watch out for those. But now we can actually make our own shortcuts throughout the map with these things here, which is nice. We're gonna hit this switch here. Oh, come on. How did that hurt me? And Keenstone Piece is ours at long last. I'm just gonna take this, since this is the way, this is the basically the fastest way to get back to the first of the floors. Just follow this path again. Woo -doo -doo! Let's go. Woo! Drop back to the first floor to the right side now. So we can grab all the chests we got there firstly. Uh, this is gonna be doing. This is what you mostly do after getting the moments. You might as well go after this. Um, if you go over here, that is a 50 rupee here, right there on the right, in case you do need it. Dun, 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 dun. But luckily, since we've already pulled the doors open, everything's all open up to us, so it's very quick and easy. Hit this right here. Another kingstone piece. Not bad at all. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. The spark here. Another kingstone piece. They're all red ones, so we do need a red one for that fusion that we saw earlier. Which is always nice and perfect. Alright, now we've got all the collectibles over here. We're going back down here. Now we can head back up to the main room. Let's head up this way. We can head. Yeah, we're gonna head up north. Head up north and grab the bon and grab the opposite side door that we locked. This way. We want to grab our Pegasus boots. Now I think you can do this sector without them, but it's easier with them. Close open. Run across. Whew! We barely made it. I was certain we ran out of time. All four masters. But, there again, weak to the bow and arrow. I'm not sure to why they are. Uh, if they do let- if they grab you, they will pull you to the start of the dungeon. So be warned for that, as that's their characteristic. And we've got another- uh, we got another uh, entrance, but firstly, let's, uh, let's clear up a, uh, a misconception. We need to clear out the enemy of enemies first, before we actually get it. Because we need a key to, uh, to form. So, we need to take care of the ropes first. I missed it by a fraction of a pixel. So, what we want to do is, I think, up and we want to put this statue onto the top. Top left and, and bottom right. Yeah. Pull this around. And now we use our two sword ability. Uh, to uh, get those other two switches down for us. And that drops us a key for us. That's a key we need. Sweetness. Da -da -da -da. Oh boy. Uh, hi. Ow. You can use the cane Apache if you want to jump over them, but i rather that's not the best idea. Just fall down the hole is probably the best option. Alright, let's get up here. Back to small link. I do I do like the whole mechanic of the, at least the last two dungeons. This one and the other one where they mix up the whole you have to be small in order to continue on, you know, it's kind of that dynamic that I like about this game. Cause they use the gimmick, you know, to its greatest degree, which is like, yeah, you have to be minished in order to complete certain tasks. While you're minished though, minished form, the wall the floor masters will not affect you. 
as they don't know you're they don't know you exist. So be be grateful for that. So we hit this switch here. We break through these walls here. Careful, there are sparks in the walls. And there is really nothing else in this room. So don't worry about a thing. Just go to the go back to the entrance and go shrink yourself. So now let's get our bow and arrows ready because they are weak to bow and arrows, which I don't know why these guys are weak to them. But hey, you know what? I welcome weaknesses. I missed. I missed again. Die. You die too. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, that's a reminder for later that we need to fall down the right side. There might be holes above us. We have Moldworms here. You know, a particular enemy boss character that's now referred to as just a minor character, a minor enemy, which is kind of sad actually, but you know, I digress. Come on, get out of here, you. Big rupee, we can't use it. <laughs> Our sword can walk through, can shoot through walls too. And there's mysterious shells for us. Not too bad ourselves. More style children or stalfos, whatever the one they are calling that. Haunted, the haunted skulls. Activate the door. Fall down on the right side. And that allows us to get to da 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 da! You got the big key! Use it to open big doors! No, come on, make us fall down. Alright, now we've gotten basically everything in the dungeon except for uh, the outside area for the main room here. And then we can move on to the boss! Because we need to. Oh, there's actually a pressure sensitive switch. That we need to uh, activate, so let's get behind the statue and push it. Da, da, da. And we got a blue kingstone piece. Not bad, not bad. We always need all of them for the best. We come up here, push this, and we get our red uh, red portal that allows us to uh, warp back if we need to. Let's go check on the boss. This boss is actually. Quite a combo, but again, it's uh, a trope that was shown in the um, Ocarina of Time's uh, Shadow Temple. And it has the same concept too, so we have to use our, both the bows and arrow and their moments for this boss fight. But here we go. You know who Nintendo doves? Their, fam their, their favorite boss, a head and two hands. This is Mazal, the guardian of the Wind Fortress. Eyes in the hands, as we can tell. Eyes in the hands. You just shoot them, and basically to uh, turn off their hands. You need to shoot both hands down firstly. They can try to grab you, which is annoying. Oh no, 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 no! And it hurts you like that. Ah! I don't have a fairy either, so if I die, I'm gonna be quite sad. And I fall, and die to this guy. Come on, you! Hit you! But after both eyes are down, oh, they got the other eye just woke up. Come on, you. There we go. But when both eyes are down, go into the minish form and head inside. Say it has his mouth right here. You want to find the pillow that has the eye on it. Hit it as many times as you can until it blows up. And uh, do this three times, you got, and he's down. So. Yeah. And now he's gonna get more aggressive. So just gotta be a little bit faster. Um, by defeating this eye, you do get arrows back, so you're not gonna be completely dead in the water if you run out of arrows in this fight. Though it's very hard to do so. And Snow Ray Pirate, there are no dancing skeletons in this place. Only Stafos. <laughs> but after uh, hits two and three, we'll now put dirt inside his uh, head here. So you need to find the one that actually has the eyes around it, like that one right there, and hit it. But every time he does, you know, defeat it, he does carry you outside and make and still make you minish. So, so quickly make yourself back to the uh, to the entrance and get out of the way of the arrows. Now I'm gonna switch back to bows. 
Hit you. Woo. Hit you. You're down. I kind of find this boss actually pretty easy. Comparable to the last boss, which is Glock. We got one more hit on him, and he's down for the toast. He is the, you do have a little bit of a time limit in here, so you have to be quick. Uh, yeah! He is down! Booyah! Hey! Wait a minute! Where's our element? We defeated the boss, but the element didn't show up! We got the we got a heart container. I'm grateful for that, but where's our element? It's supposed to appear right here. Huh, a doorway. Hmm. We are the we are the tribe of the winds. Long have we lived with the winds. We have mastered them. Now we join them. Together with the great winds at our backs, we head for the skies. Those who come seeking our power must play the note Zepha teaches. May the lead you onward to the power that you seek. Oh! You got the Ocarina of Wind! North, South, East, and West are just a breath away! Hmm, I do believe this is where the Tribe of the Winds once lived. Hmm, so they've left for the heavens and they've taken their element with them. It looks like the wind element is beyond our reach for the time being. We have no choice but to press on. Let's get out of here. So with no, no wind element, we now have no choice to go except for what Zephanotes have teach us. The element was not here, but at least we now have a clue to its whereabouts. You must use the Ocarina of Wind to open a new path. Well, there's no point in standing around. Go get that last element. That's right. So let's go with that said, let's continue on with the game here. Zephus, send us, play us a tune. <laughs> 